I'm Anjali Mansukani for New York Natives. Today, my travels take me to Nurgis Cafe in Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn to taste a native dish from the country of Uzbekistan in Central Asia. Hi, my name is Boris Bangiev. I am from Nargis Cafe. What we're gonna prepare here today? We're gonna cook a rice dish. Uh, it's pilaf. The ingredients, as you see, we have some pre-cooked lamb already. We just pre-sauté this. Onions, sliced, carrots, some chickpeas. The spices are cumin, coriander, salt, black pepper, and wild berries. All we have here is a kazan. This is our traditional dish that we cooked rice pilaf in. It has an oval bottom, so the fire wraps around this big pan. We're throwing sliced white onion into a hot, hot oil. We're gonna cook it until it's nice and caramelized, almost burnt. We need to get dark. That way we, have, we get transfer the color to the rice. Add the lamb, We're gonna slide it lightly. Mix it well. You want onions to stop cooking, basically, at this point. All this beautiful julienne of carrots, we're gonna throw all of it in our uh, pan. We're gonna add some chickpeas. Next thing what we're doing is we're gonna add five quarts of water. So at this stage, we're gonna add some uh, black pepper. I like black pepper, I don't know about you, but I love black pepper. We have some uh, salt, some zira, cumin, we call it zira rub them against each other. Little wild berries we have. We're gonna add a little bit of ground cumin and ground coriander also above. So at this point, we're gonna put the heat on and we're just gonna wait until, uh, until the water will start boiling up. We're gonna add the washed rice. You have to grab it like this. Work your way in, basically. You see, it starts to bubble, that's good news. We let uh, the rice take on the first liquid. It takes all that liquid that was in there already, cooking with meat, with onions, with carrots, and with beautiful spices, and it's all taking that in. And that's how you, you get the flavored, very flavored rice, basically. I can see from here that the water is already below carrots. What well, the next step is, we're gonna cook the rice all the way through. To do this, we have to create uh, like a closing. So this is the key for finishing the rice. We're ready to assemble our lamb pilaf and it's been sitting uh, covered. If you take a look at this pot, you see all three levels and you have beautiful lamb with it sitting in a juice waiting to be eaten. Just sprinkle the rice over. You got carrots and chickpeas just all around it. And you gotta dig up and get your meat just like so. And uh, guess what we're gonna garnish with? It's very simple. Scallions, chopped scallions. Lots of it. There you go. And we have a beautiful lamb pilaf ready to go. Enjoy it. Enjoy the traditional lamb pilaf from Nargis Cafe in Brooklyn. Oh, no, oh, see.